What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and Logitech has hooked us up with a brand new set of their colored gaming peripherals. So Logitech and most gaming companies out there, you know, they'll release products and peripherals, headsets, mice, keyboards, and usually either black or white. However, Logitech is now releasing a blue variant and a lilac variant. I said, hook me up with that blue. So we're gonna unbox them, check them out, do a little first look at the products, and see what we got inside. All right, get all this out of the way. And right off the bat, we have the G733 in the blue color. Set that aside for now. We'll get into the rest of it in a minute. So we'll go product by product for this, just to kind of see what the, uh, the kind of the variance is and how it looks in person for their new color options. Um, again, so black, white, lilac, or blue. And I could see already just even through the, um, the little cover on here, this is a bright, bright blue. And this is actually a headset that I don't know if it's new, um, but I don't think I've checked out the G733. And man, that is definitely a vibrant blue color. You can see up top there's like a, uh, a tealish sort of headband, just for a little bit of an accent and a color pop, you know? Let's see, left, right. Let's put it on, check it out. Has a look. The, uh, do you like the blue color? And what we got here, the cables, and I assume, yes, the microphone, and what is this? Even the Bluetooth dongle is blue as well. Get it, blue, Bluetooth. All right, let's put the mic on. Yes, okay. So, very blue. This is, like when they told me about it, um, I don't know what kind of blue I had in my head. I guess like a darker, maybe like a, a navy or a dark like royal blue, but I did not expect a vibrant blue like this. It definitely visually stands out in the wireless space, I'll tell you that. Talking some of the specs, inside we have their 40 millimeter Pro G drivers. When talking battery, it's up to 29 hours with no RGB lighting enabled, but with their default lighting, you can get up to 20 hours on a single charge with this. The charging port embedded is USB-C, so good job on that Logitech. Built in on the left ear cup above the charging port is the on and off button. You have your volume rocker and then a mic mute button. And the microphone they use here is a cardioid pickup pattern in collaboration with Blue for their Blue voice. Okay, and just real quick, a little mic test of the wireless G733, so you can get a general idea of how the mic sounds here. Just plugged right into my PC, all wireless via light speed. And I will say that layer of fabric up top of the headband uh, definitely adds to the comfort overall, so it's not like, you know, adding pressure or anything. That helps take the, the weight off pretty much. And it is a bit on the pricey side, but again, it's a wireless headset. It comes in at $130. We'll put that here for now. Let's see what else we got in the box. Uh, a picture frame. Highball energy, grapefruit, sparkling energy water. Is this like, I assume this is just padding, right? This is extra protective stuff because we also have a, uh, a seasonal throw blanket. Okay, I assume this is just padding. Anyways, get the rest of this out of here. Oh, something I didn't expect. Not the little stress ball. You know what, let's just, let's just take it all out. Let's just take it all out. The mouse, whatever that is. And the keyboard. This is something that, oh. So I, I'm a big fan of the G915. This is the newer TKL version, but in white. Oh man, okay, so um, I haven't checked out the TKL yet. I've heard good things. And obviously since I like the larger original, I'm obviously just gonna, I'm going to like a TKL version as well. But the white is definitely a, uh, a nice choice. Oh, doubled up the stickers here. So I don't think this is a part of their new colorway, uh, meaning you can't get this in blue or the lilac, I don't think. Why is this so hard to open? Logitech with the 10 out of 10 strength stickers. And oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, Logitech. Oh, this is super clean. Got brown switches in here. I do wish they were a red version, but that's okay. I'm not gonna complain. 
turn it on, and I can only imagine just the RGB on here. Um, at nighttime, you know, reflecting off of the, like the silver metallic surface, white keycaps, I can assume the RGB is gonna be really nice and vibrant. So like I said, bouncing off and reflecting. Like I said, we have the brown switches here, which are GL tactile. It's also available in their GL linears and GL clickies for the red and blue switches. You get up to 40 hours of battery life on one charge with this. Um, thanks to light speed, it's an ultra fast, like one millisecond report rate to it. I used a full size version for a while and never had any issues with latency or anything like dipping out or anything. It is flawless. And again, in 2020, especially with light speed, you're not gonna have any wireless issues. You're not even gonna be able to tell it's wireless pretty much. I know it's not brand new or anything. They have the black wireless version of this as well, uh, but it is $230, so a bit pricey, but I'm telling you, this is definitely one of my favorite keyboards out there. Turn this off set it over here for now. And now we have the G203 mouse. This is a pretty popular mouse out there in the community. Uh, mainly it's because at the, at the price point, it's definitely affordable. Open it up. Man, I need to sharpen that knife. It's not, not cutting through these industrial strength stickers. There we go. Oh, that's nice too. That is also nice. Again, something just with this teal sort of accented strip you have on the top uh, with the DPI button and the scroll wheel as well, it definitely makes a pop and stand out. So if you were to turn on the RGB, you know, you plug it in and change the lighting here to like a matching teal color, then you got some, you got some real uh, aesthetic going on, you know, the matching set of peripherals. So for the G203, it has an 8,000 DPI sensor inside. You got six programmable buttons with the two on the left side here where the thumb is. But certainly a mouse on the smaller end, obviously for smaller hands. And I believe this is gonna come in at $40. And what else? I'm not really sure what this last thing is. I'm gonna guess a mouse pad. Um, no, okay. It is, oh man, look at that. Like a chameleon. That is a hell of a canteen. What do they call these? Uh, the insulated canteens. Not a thermos. Is it a thermos? Oh, I'm thinking of a Rambler. Never mind. You get the idea. But yes, we do have the steal in the show, hands down, the white TKL version of the G915 Lightspeed keyboard with, I already forgot the name of this one, the G733 in the blue color and the nice, tiny, and compact G203 Light Sync mouse. Um, unfortunately, as again, as far as I know, this is sort of what we're limited to in, in terms of product selection. So I don't believe we're gonna have, you know, this colorway and these options available on all their peripherals, you know, and like the rest of their lineup for the mice and keyboards and headsets. I believe just these for now, but this is pretty nice looking. You gotta, you gotta appreciate some color in some peripherals. You mainly just see black, starting to see more white stuff like this. A lot more companies are putting out white variants, which are really nice and clean. But now we got the splash of color. All right, Logitech, I see you, I see you. But all right, that'll pretty much wrap it up for just kind of, you know, short little first look and unboxing at some of their colored peripherals now with the blue version of the G733, got the blue G203, and then the white G915 TKL. Uh, and, and some of these are also available in lilac, like I said, in, in addition to white and black. So if you want to check it out, I'll have them listed for you in the description down below. I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.